Hi everyone, my name is Yogesh and uh, today I am going to start my first uh, video series of ASP.NET MVC. In this video series you will learn more concepts of ASP.NET MVC design patterns, uh, examples and uh, we will learn that uh, how we can create uh, a high responsive website using some uh, JavaScript frameworks like uh, AngularJS, like uh, Angular Design Material, Node.js, Knockout.js, and uh, how we can use the can do UI controls uh, in the, to create our website as more attractive and more when uh, more uh, you know you know lightweighted. So okay, so this video is created by the Yogesh Sharma, and uh, my name is Yogesh, and uh, why MVC over ASP.NET Web Form? Let me first of all, I want to start with this because uh, most of developers and uh, or uh, most of uh, students are thinking about this. That what is the need of ASP.NET MVC? Uh, actually, we have already have a, a ASP.NET Web Form where we can create a, a web application using the RAD model. RAD is stand for the Rapid Application Development, and uh, so what is the need of uh, ASP.NET MVC? And switch over to the to ASP.NET MVC. So let me start. First of all, uh, uh, first of all, I want to uh, demonstrate about the previous features of ASP.NET Web Forms. Like uh, we have uh, the ASP.NET page lifecycle. We know that uh, every page, whenever we call any request or you are sending any request to the server to render a particular page, then the some events are uh, executed on the server like a page load event, page pre-render event, pre-load event, there's lots of events will be executed and uh, after the after completion of their uh, events then the page will be rendered at the client side. So it's a very time taking process and uh, as uh, you know that it's uh, following the strongly typed uh, approach to render a particular page. Now second feature is the server side controls converts into HTML markup. We know about it that uh, whenever you want a particular control you have to just drag and drop uh, uh, from the tool back, uh, toolbox into your uh, design page and the design page will be create like uh, I want to create a I, I want to uh, demonstrate it with an example just like I want to create a button control so I have to uh, drag and drop a button control from the uh, toolbox that is ASP colon button ASP.NET button can be used to implement this but uh, whenever your request is sending to the server to retrieve that particular page then the ASP.NET button control will convert into the HTML control so it, it's also a time consuming because uh, there are some events will be executed at the server end then the final uh, input type equal to submit control which is a HTML control will be generated okay so that that is a it's also a time consuming and uh, you know it will uh, it will create a load on your server side so another thing is the state management like view state and session so view state is what view state is to maintain the state of the control we have to store the view state variable value into a hidden field hidden field is what it is a html control so it means that uh, how many controls you have on web form on the behalf of every control a particular view state of particular hidden field will be generated at the user end okay so it will enhance the size of your HTML page so it's a very it's a very uh, you know that's a very uh, healthy or you know healthy web page will be created but uh, we are using application and we are creating application for the mobiles now the mobiles have uh, some uh, limited data plans and every developer and every company wants that the loading time should be decreased loading time should be decreased at the mobile also so it is very essential to make your uh, web page a light weighted web page so another uh, uh, state management techniques like uh, also they are like uh, control state uh, and uh, hidden field uh, and uh, uh, query string there are lots of things are there second thing is the session session is also implemented in MVC but uh, Microsoft don't recommend uh, to use session because they are already some other data dictionary objects like temp data, view, uh, view data and view vag. There are lots of things are there which can be implemented. Now final uh, the key feature of ASP.NET Web Form is the control lifecycle. Control lifecycle means that every control has some default events like uh, binding event. 
they will execute at the server end and it's also a time consuming now come to the web form what is the difference between web form and MVC so I demonstrate with the it, uh, with the with this example you can see over here the web form uh, is a very per healthy person and uh, MVC is a uh, have a very lean body person right so it means that uh, you are creating a application using web form technology the size of web, uh, uh, web forms will be increased and a very healthy process and a very you know not as a uh, complete word of healthy healthy means I want to say that it's a very heavy page healthy is not a good word but uh, <coughs> if you are working on MVC MVC web pages very lean pages very light weighted pages so the loading time will be decreased due to its weight okay so it's a very good example to demonstrate why uh, the companies are switching to the MVC approach of ASP.NET MVC no page life cycle everything is working by using some uh, design architecture design pattern like a controller like a model like a view we are, we are not following the page life cycle we have to call the controller as well as controller action name I will demonstrate what is the controller and what is the action in my forthcoming videos but still I am saying to you that no page life cycle will be followed in ASP.NET MVC another uh, key feature of ASP.NET MVC is ASP.NET MVC pipelining so we will discuss it later HTML helpers HTML helpers to uh, these are the some methods to create a HTML markup we will learn it also no state management to perform that uh, you know data state management techniques we will uh, we have some dictionary objects like uh, view state view wag uh, and temp data there are lots of things we have to perform the state management or to perform the maintain the values of the values of state management now what is the benefits of ASP.NET MVC <coughs> ASP.NET MVC benefits first one is the HTML based we know that uh, every uh, every work will be done in uh, HTML very compatible with J jQuery uh, popular programming model as of current scenario URL re uh, routing makes SEO friendly websites because uh, we don't want to you know the file structure while file extension in our URL to make our website to SEO friendly so uh, as URL writing uh, routing is already performed in your architecture pattern it's a TDD test driven development it means that the after creation of your project or uh, whenever you are working on a project then you want to uh, test your individual component by using this uh, TDD approach to its make easy to to testing of your particular control source of concern approach source of concern approach means that uh, every controller uh, have some actions and uh, each action can be associated particular view so it's a programming point of view you will learn uh, it later that uh, what is the SOC approach and why it is beneficial and uh, to for the developers as well as the uh, you know uh, as the user of your application high responsive websites you can create because we have lots of frameworks which can be implemented using ASP.NET MVC very easily we can create application using the HTML5 and CSS3 that uh, makes uh, your application uh, very compatible with the you know uh, mobile application right and uh, it's also described demonstrate it is a light weighted website to make your website very light weighted to then you should use ASP.NET MVC design pattern now come to the design pattern this is a MVC design pattern we have three things which should be implemented in MVC design pattern first one is the controller second one is the view and third one is the model uh, this is a programming model of ASP.NET MVC user will send the request to the controller controller with interact to the view as well as the model so this is not the linear approach this is a triangular approach actually many person think about it that uh, is just like a 3T architecture or three uh, three layer architecture which were uh, were implemented in uh, web form technology like the we have some 
layers like presentation layer and the business logic layer and the data access layer we we had uh, three uh, layers in uh, to implement your application but that uh, layer architecture was the linear it means that the presentation layer data will go to the controller layer or the business logic layer and the controller layer data will be transferred to the model layer and model will interact to the database then the result will come from the model to controller then the present presentation layer it means that this is the linear approach but if you are uh, thinking about the mbc mbc don't follow the linear approach is use the triangular approach in this triangular approach the model data can be directly be transferred to the view or the form of uh, or the follow the path of uh, the model to controller and the view so it's a it's a very big difference between the uh, three layer architecture and the mvc design pattern so in my forthcoming videos you will learn that uh, what is the uh, and uh, what is the file structure of our application mvc application so it's also very beneficial for everyone so please wait for the forthcoming video and the next part will be based on file structure uh, so to learn the mo uh, most important concepts of mvc you can subscribe my channel and you can learn more things thank you for watching this video